My name is Isaac Lee and I attend Eastman School of Music for Viola Performance. I am a junior. My name is Kevin Wang. I am not an Eastman student, but I have gotten a bachelor's degree. Classical for sure. I uh, really like jazz. I really like Japanese music. Electric dance music never fails to impress me, so that's something. K-pop is definitely rising in terms of interest. Classical for sure. I like just general synth pop vibes. I like K-pop and I like experimental hip hop. It has to be cantabile, uh, cantabile being singing like. And, uh, I guess a lot of viola professors really advocate for you to sing on your downtime because there's a continuity that is already existent within you and you can, I guess, make the connection with your playing and try to make it continuous or forever ringing. I don't have a favorite musical term, but today I'm gonna go with Inik, which is a German term that Schumann really likes to use that basically just means very introverted and very emotional. But it's not just that, there's something very subtle and nuanced about that term. That I think it's something that you know what it is, but you have to think about it so hard and feel it so hard in front of your instrument to achieve it. So, Inik is something I wrestle with. Probably has to be, well, I gotta be faithful, uh, G friend first. Shiny is very nice. I really like the group. Shiny is just great. Red Velvet, it always stands out for some reason for me. If I go with my stand girl, I'm gonna go for Luna, I'm gonna go Momoland, and I'm gonna go Promise Nine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peyton. I play the trumpet, although this is a flugelhorn. I'm doing my student teaching this semester here at Eastman. Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm an oboe and music ed major here at Eastman. I'm a senior. Of course, classical music, jazz. Well, right now I'm listening to like a lot of like alternative pop. Obviously classical. If Ariana Grande is her own genre, then yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> but she's not. But I really like R&B. Rock music. Alternative rock, I guess, because Pink Floyd. This is uh, something from Mahler, I think. We were, I was in a rep section and we were playing it and we got to it and like we couldn't pronounce it at all. Uh, my friend Chris was German, could pronounce it, but it's like, it's like Almelisch or something like that. I, it's my favorite because there's a lot of backstory behind it. Yeah, let's go with that. Also from Mahler, I can't pronounce it so I'm not even gonna try, so just Google it. It's Bells Up, which is really fun to do. And you literally just get to nail your conductor in the head. <sighs> NCT, Stray Kids, and oh boy, I'm trying to decide right now on the spot, and this is really nerve wracking. Um, mm, mm, Black Ink, Red Velvet, BTS, and uh, Day Six. <laughs> Third year student. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Gracioso. 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 Did I say that right? Gracioso. Hemiola, probably. Just because it's funny sounding, but also actual cool sounding in context. Blackpink, NCT 127, FX. Okay, Hayes, Dreamcatcher. And Mamamoo. But when it comes to like live, Ailey. <laughs> My name is Steven, I'm a jazz studies drum set major, and I'm a first year master's at Eastman. Alright, my name is Seiji, I'm a junior jazz pianist, and I'm an international relations major. 
Uh, I love jazz music. I love all, most kinds of jazz. I want to say all kinds. But I also love classical music and really, really love pop music. Definitely jazz. I'm into like bluegrass music a little bit right now. Classical music, particularly like, I guess, 20th century classical music. I would probably say polyrhythm, just because um, <laughs> I'm a drummer and that was the first one I can think of. But also because, <laughs> like for example, I like the piano so much. You know, like you, you could play multiple notes at the same time in a chord, and I feel like a way that's reflected in rhythmic music is having a polyrhythm, which are just layers of different rhythms on top of each other, creating a different texture, so it's like our version of a chord. So I'll go with reharm, reharmonization, going on the theme. Making oh. things a little bit more fun. Yeah, first and foremost, definitely Aku really loves her music. Day six for sure. Oh, yeah, and Nijuna. Her music's great. Absolutely, no question. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, just going up here and get like boba bars, and, uh, you know, a lot of my friends listen to it, so. Elizabeth. Uh, I am a junior at Easton. I've, I'm majoring in French horn performance and I'm also picking up a musical arts degree in film studies. Hi, my name is James. I am a sophomore here at the Eastman School of Music. I also play the French horn and I'm majoring in performance. My name is Melissa. I am a junior at Eastman and I am majoring in horn performance. Well, obviously classical music is very, <laughs> very near and dear to my heart, but I also enjoy learning about world music. So I enjoy tube and throat singing a lot, um, and Irish music a lot. Yeah, I mean, I listen to mostly classical music, but I'm delving into Hindustani, like Indian classical music, and I like listening to acapella and a little jazz. Um, I really love choral music. <laughs> They're laughing because I'm always talking about it. And like, you know, classical music, like orchestral music, but I also really like jazz and like pop, and like sometimes even K-pop. What a concept. Musical. Can I go first? <laughs> Can I go first? Melisma. Because it's my name, but like with one letter different. What is a melisma? Um, okay, so it's like in vocal music when there's like a bunch of notes on one syllable. That's a melisma. Okay, yeah. Or, yeah. I guess riffing would be the, the modern equivalent. Yeah, it's like a riff, but like in chant. So like if Beyonce was like a 16th century monk, <laughs> I can I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have an answer? I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> Tacit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's my second. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna be really egotistical and say solo. Not solely. Solo. The two types of people. I know. <laughs> Uh, yes, I had heard of K-pop before. I had a lot of friends in high school in my first couple years of college who loved K-pop, went to K-pop clubs, went to K-pop conventions, like, were huge into it. So I'd seen some videos and I, I knew what it was about, um, but I definitely had never really thought about compositional techniques or how it was put together. So this has been really cool. That's a really great answer. Mine's like so shallow. I had one friend in high school who was very into Pepe, uh, who was very into K-pop. And I didn't know anything about the genre at all. She would just get like crunk to K-pop and just start dancing. And it was like, okay, cool. That was my K-pop introduction. Yeah, I had a friend in middle school who showed me some K-pop. And then I'm like, we're all kind of late to the channel. So like once you guys started reacting and we were like bystanders, just passively watching the videos. I heard K-pop then, but yeah, that's it. When you reach the School of Music and I am double majoring in Political Science and Vocal Performance. Hi, my name is Gwen Baker. I'm also a junior at Eastman in Vocal Performance. 
Hi, I'm Hugo Christensen. I'm a fourth year at Eastman and I'm getting my degrees in vocal performance and European history. Hi, my name is Rachel Kobernick. I'm also a junior at Eastman. I'm studying vocal performance and minoring in Italian. Hello, my name is Jeremy Lopez. I'm a junior here at Eastman. Um, my major is vocal performance and I have a minor in Italian as well. How are you? Oh my god! <laughs> we were doing really good and like weren't Fell laughing off. and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the James go ahead. Hi, my name is James. Uh, I'm a junior studying uh, vocal performance and audio engineering. I love R&B, alternative, classical, Broadway, country. We get like it. We just like, you just like music. <laughs> yeah. All right. I love music. <laughs> uh, I like rock and alternative. Opera, rock, electro fusion mixed with jazz. And just, you know. <laughs> was that one? Was one big, uh, yeah. was one big, one big <laughs> okay. genre. Yeah. Cool. I really like R&B and jazz and opera and baroque music. Okay, now I feel stupid for not saying classical. Well, I like clearly classical like music. classical music. Like, no, it's implied. Well, uh, I like classical, um, you know, opera, alternative music, basically anything. I like music. classical, hip hop, Motown, jazz, and everyone loves. You saying you Joel. willingly listen? Oh, everyone, 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 everyone loves Billy Joel. Everyone loves Billy Joel. Joel. What? what? Ostinato. Sorry, I had to get that. Uh, Ostinato. Just had to get that out there. Ostinato. Legato, because I'm, I'm bad at it. <laughs> Basically, it means like smooth and connected. I like staccato because it's just really funny to me to like sing really short and aggressively, which I know isn't what it actually is, but I think it's funny. I like langsam, which is the mm. German word for like <laughs> I <am> slow, <laughs> like just slow. Well, so I, I like Astronaut because of the way it sounds to say, um, but if I had to pick like a thing I prefer to do, like bel canto, this is my favorite style to sing. <laughs> I like um, tremolo, like it means tremble, so like you just go like that on the piano. <laughs> yeah, I like, like that. I love rollantando. Rollantando is, is basically an epic uh, uh, slowdown of, of any music that's being performed. And it's Slow usually over toward a, a climactic moment. It, it or, has the same or effect portamento, of like portamento. Portamento. Man, I should have When you used. <laughs> And that's the only one I remember. Um, I remember BTS because oh, BTS. somebody just said on the radio that they had the most viewed video they broke ever. Another record. Like, Wait, what? They broke yeah, they in 24 record. hours. Most yeah, viewed in 24 like, hours. Wow. And I was Something. like, I watched that. Heart for Acme, Tit for Vix, and then also Mama Moo. <laughs> oh, I mean, the only one that I can like actually remember is Mama Moo. Like, like what they sounded like. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I do like Mama Moo a lot. Acme and BTS. Then. I'm a classical trombone major here at the Eastman School of Music, and I'm going to be a junior this year. Who loves jazz. Who loves jazz. I do love jazz. My name's Emil. I'm a jazz performance major at Eastman, and I'm a junior right now. Uh, good music genre. <laughs> I'm, uh, anything that's like pretty straightforward, authentic, I, I dig it. It doesn't really matter to me what it is. About the same. Oh, I have a very specific answer. Precipitando. It's like precipitation, so falling gently, like a piece of paper falling slowly to the ground. Shed. Like you're gonna go practice. I'm gonna go practice. Yeah. I'm gonna go shed. At this current moment, I have to say Ijana, Akmu, and then I gotta say, I think the third goes to Luna right now because I'm just so freaking excited about what they're doing. I'd probably do the first two that he said and then 17. As well. Yeah. yeah. I'm an undergraduate senior, uh, class of guitar performance. My name is Jared. I am a senior undergrad trumpet performance major. Classical, but that's lame. <laughs> when we go to conservatory. Uh, jazz and uh, rock. I'm a big fan of impressionist music from that time period. So that's like your Ravel, your Debussy guys. 
also a big fan of yeah jazz, especially like some of the contemporary kind of funk fusion stuff. So it's more it's more sound of which means dying away. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful in 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 effect. My favorite is uh, probably like rubato or like espressivo because usually like it's a uh, time in the music where you can kind of take your time and kind of really let the individual interpretation kind of free out of the structure of the piece. So. Um, I've, well, I've never heard it, and I've never really heard of it now. I know it's Korean pop music. I know it's supposedly very interesting. So that, that really, it's clean slate. <laughs> yeah. Awesome!